So hello and welcome to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands here in India. Today we're going to be making our way by ferry to our third island which is Neil Island and we're going to go around there and explore the island and its popular spots. Hello. No problem. So we're back at the ferry where we arrived. We again, oh, my hair's in my face. Today is so hot. <laughs> it is extremely hot and it's still so early in the morning. But we are going by Nautica again, which is the same ferry that we came with. Yeah. But if I'm not mistaken, we're in a different class. Yeah, we're in the royal class. Last time we were in the luxury class. <laughs> So let's see what the royal class is like. Let's hope the waves are also not too big. Yeah, let's hope. But I think it will be a very short ride from Havelock to Neil. So it seems like our boat hasn't even arrived. There's not a single boat here. So according to when it leaves, that is 20 past nine, which is in 40 minutes. So 40 minutes in the sun. Oh, gosh, and they tell you to arrive early, but sure, not this early. I see Port Blair had actually an air-conditioned room that we actually waited in before taking the ferry but here on Havelock none of that Ooh. okay it's a little bit cooler underneath this thing Ooh. and now we wait hello hi welcome. man thank you thank you all right so we're boarding Let's have a look at our Royal class. I think because it's the same boat as last time, I think we've got a little bit of an idea. <laughs> oh, aircon. Hi, how are you? Fine, sir. This one? Which one? Oh, this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's only two seats this time instead of three, but this is good. Yeah. So our seats pretty much look the same as last time. And this whole entire area, like I showed you last time. I think the only difference with Royal is we got a higher view. <laughs> so we have just left Havelock Island and we're now on our way to Neil Island. <laughs> I'm so tired. Baby, it's half past nine in the morning. Yeah, but I feel like it's been so busy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're probably thinking, Leanne, how on earth can you feel so tired? And what do you mean there's a lot going on? You're on a permanent vacation. Well, as much as I absolutely love what we're doing, travel is not always so glamorous. Between extensive travel days, filming, long hours of editing, and just trying to balance your personal life, it sometimes feels like you're juggling more than you can handle. And it feels like you're exhausted all the time and you're just completely burnt out. And during these times when you feel like there's so much going on, it's really difficult to ask for help and to talk to someone and that is why I am excited to introduce you to today's video sponsor BetterHelp. Regardless if you have clinical mental health issues like anxiety or depression or you're just a human with so much going on, therapy gives you access to tools to help you approach these issues to make them feel more manageable. So BetterHelp is basically an online platform and all you have to do is fill out a few questions and then you get matched with a licensed therapist. You can then talk to this therapist via a text or a phone call or a video chat and you can schedule live sessions with them at any time that is convenient for you. And let's say you just don't feel like you're getting on with your therapist and they don't gel with you you can change your therapist at any time that you like at no additional charge. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com forward slash buddymoon. That's better h e l p dot com forward slash buddymoon. And I'll leave that in the link below. And we've made it to Neil Island. Excuse me? I have one. You can do okay. I'm okay. person. Thank you so much, eh? That guy was just wanting a review. But we now have to walk this extremely long thing. But look at the color of this water. <laughs> it looks like Powerade. I thought that the water was blue at Havelock, but it seems bluer over here, right? Yeah, it does. I mean, probably Gatorade in America, but in South Africa, we have an energy drink called Powerade. And it is this color. This is insane. Is that, what is that? <laughs> is that the reverse sound? I think so. Jeez. You can dance to it. I thought I was at a festival. But we've got this jetty to walk all the way 
to the shoreline and then we're gonna try and catch a tuk-tuk towards our hotel drop our bags off and then go and explore this beautiful island this is one way to carry your bags he's got a little bicycle and everybody's put their bags on top much better than carrying it like this <laughs> especially with this bag in front it covers all your aerodynamics yeah I'm starting to heat up uh, rickshaw. Rickshaw? What's a rickshaw? That's it. Okay, here goes the negotiation. Everyone's got names, so I think you can organize with your hotel. Hi, do you have rickshaw? Tuk tuk. Yeah. Uh, going? To Blue Lagoon Resort. Yeah. How much? 200 rupees. 200 for 4 kilometers? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, 100 rupees. No. Okay, you thank want you. Motorbike, sir? No, I don't want motorbike. Thank you, my friend. We'll get more. There's quite a few rickshaws out there. Hi, namaste. I'm going to Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon, 150. Yeah. 150 is fine. We can go. Thank you. Which one's yours? This one, hey? Thank you. You know where Blue Lagoon is? Awesome. Okay. Right, let's go. That wasn't too hard to get a rickshaw. That wasn't hard at all. Welcome to Neil Island. Huh? Here we are. Thank you very much. And your vibe. Oh. That was literally like a five minute ride. <laughs> and your vibe. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so this is where we're going to be staying at Blue Lagoon Resort in Neil Island. Looks like it's somebody's piece of land that they've kind of just changed into a little bit of an accommodation. It's very cute. I love it. And here's reception. <laughs> a cute little desk. Hello. Hello. Namaste. Hi. 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 How are you? Sujit. Sujit. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank you. Okay, so now that we have checked in, we're actually going to go and explore this island. So we've rented a scooter for 600 rupees for 24 hours. So this is blue. <laughs> Abu blue roti. <laughs> Abu blue roti. <laughs> what, what is blue in Hindi? Blue, blue is... Um, the color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, not color. Yeah. Blue is, I think... Uh, uh, we are called also blue. Sir. You oh, also you say also blue. blue. Okay, oh, that's, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Abu, yeah, Abu blue, blue Roti. Blue, I, Abu Blue Blue Roti. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Yeah, 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 we are called also Neil. Neil? Neil, yes, yes. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, so like the island. Yes. Neil Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Island. Yeah, Blue Island. Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense because the water's so blue. Thank you. Safety first. Ugh. Yes. Okay, so helmets on, so. Noggin. Noggin. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Oh. Bravo, Jeez. watch where you're going. This thing's a little bit woggly. <laughs> woggly. Yeah. Again, they've given it to us with no fuel, so we need to get fuel, but apparently it's closed. And I hope we have enough to get to the beach where we want to go. But this is Neil Island. This island is very tropical. Look at all these palm trees with so many coconuts. Hello. Namaste. So driving on these roads, there's actually not really anyone around other than a handful of locals. But these streets are so cute and quiet. Namaste. It looks like there's some people's houses here, like the locals. And then it's just the, the forest or the jungle. Yeah, and us. I feel like we're the only tourists on this island. Most people come here for a day trip, but we decided to spend one night just to like fully see what it's all about. Oh, the scooter's a little bit <laughs> problematic. As long as we don't fall off, it will be okay. So this is our road to the, to the beach. <laughs> Half of it's missing. Doesn't Ooh. all islands have like missing roads? Yeah. Hey? <laughs> oh, oh. 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 It's not fresh.
I think it's easier to drive off the road than it is to drive on it. I feel like I'm on a game, level 7 right yeah, now. Yeah, don't fall off. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, where do we go? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 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 Okay. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was like a little side road, do you think? Yeah, it's right here. This one's fun. It's right here in front of us. Yeah, I think that was a side road. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And here we are by the beach. Clearly not a lot of people as there's not many cars in the parking lot. Oh, there we go. So here we're walking our way towards Paratapur Beach. I see there's some vendors here on the side, but not a lot. I think it's because it's the off season. Namaste. <laughs> no, thank you, my friend. <laughs> I think more towards like February and March, there's a lot more people here because now it's starting to get hot and monsoon season starting so I think that's why there's very little people on the island. Yeah, but a good thing about traveling on the shoulder season is that you kind of get this place to yourself. Yeah. And for at a lot cheaper price. It's true. <laughs> but we're now going to look for a place just to grab something to eat and then see if we can go and swim on one of these beaches. So this is kind of the map of Neil Island. We're staying all the way here. And then there where you see the red dot is currently where we're at now, Baratapur. And then there's the sunset spot and then here's Natural Bridge. So we're going to go down there just now and go and explore that side of the island. So here's a beach to our right hand side. And then to the left we have a few restaurants. From which we can kind of choose to eat right here on the beach. But our host did recommend this Andra restaurant. I think because there's not a lot of tourists it's not very busy everywhere yeah maybe we should eat here hey thank you thank you I'll sit this side. so this is my apple juice Leanne's basically <laughs> downed <Devoured> hers <laughs> watermelon juice but it's fresh 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 they've literally taken like a full watermelon or not a full watermelon but pieces of watermelon and just blended it this is the first time I'm ever tasting an apple apple Apple, 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 apple juice. Fresh apple juice. Fresh apple juice. That is actually really nice. Mm. That is really good. Much better than the produced ones that you get in the store. Yeah, sometimes you get like really bad apples that taste mushy and they're not like crunchy. This one has got that really good sweet apple taste. Mm. Mm. I'm pleasantly surprised. We've gotten some uh, butter chicken uh, curry, masala. hey? Yeah. Chicken masala. Chicken curry. masala, yeah, that is a very Western thing to do of us. <laughs> <laughs> but we've also gotten ourselves some roti and some veg rice in order to try out. And obviously, you know us, if you have been watching our videos, you're probably going to notice that we're going to be eating the bread with the curry and the roti all together because it's <laughs> so good. <laughs> that looks really delicious. It look does. At, look at all the spices in there. And there's huge chunks of chicken there as well. That looks very tasty. Mm. Wow. That is really, really good. Okay, so um, India mainland curry, mm -hmm. Havelock curry mm -hmm. or Neil Island curry? All of them. All of them. This one is like... <laughs> completely different like it's not creamy compared to the normal ones we get it's more of like a watery base but it's very flavorful and very tasty and the spices are amazing it's not overpowering at all this is how i like my curry so after a lovely meal yeah, my tummy's nice and full now <laughs> yeah, we've now just started walking onto the beach called baratpur beach baratpur beach, baratpur beach. <laughs> one of the three places that we want to see today but there's not much going on here. From what I've read online, there is jet skis and stuff that you can actually take here. But I think because it's low tide, there's not much here. Yeah, not much people here. But it's quite nice. You kind of get it to yourself. Ooh, it's not as smooth as the beach that we saw in Havelock. As there is a lot of broken coral around here. But the ocean's still stunning. I mean, look at the color of it. <laughs> we have some people just chilling here on the sides on some benches. I think you can maybe even take a boat or a kayak out. They do snorkeling and stuff. But yeah, maybe only early in the mornings when it's high tide. 
But we're gonna go walk into the sea just to check what it looks like down there. Wow, this sand is extremely soft here. And the ocean is warm. That is very warm. Oh. <laughs> this is great. This island seems to be really peaceful compared to Havelock. Um, it is giving me similar vibes. Same beaches, same water. I think the beaches are actually a little bit more rockier as you can see there. Over here we don't have any rocks. But I think this is more of a leisure island. Yeah, I think this is where you want to come to escape the crowd completely. Like, mm. Just have a few of the locals and maybe one or two other tourists. But then you get places like this pretty much all to yourself. Yeah. So if you want you to come relax, I guess this is the place to do it. What are they building here? Hey, you you're doing the YouTube logo. Is that the YouTube logo? <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, she's done two castles, or well, one castle, and then two dams, and a temple. Is temple? Yes, yes. Is that a temple that you built? Yes, that's beautiful. And then what is this here? Temple. That's not a temple, eh? Hey? Okay. Oh, very cool. You're very creative. <laughs> Have fun. Bye -bye. Hey, Superman. Stay cool, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh yeah, what's that? The India, what? IRA. I Indian Republic of Africa. No, it definitely does not stand for that. <laughs> I don't know what it stands for, but it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> that dog is <laughs> having a good time. And yes, says water ATM. What Diesel is a water ATM? No ways. Put your bottle in the dispenser, select. So we can fill up our water. No ways. This is literally a water dispenser. Put your bottle in the dispenser, select quantity, insert a coin, and you put it here, and then it's going to give you water. Do you have coins? How much is it? Two, two rupee for 500. No ways. Don't think we'll need 500. No, we'll need 500. We'll need 500. Yeah, coin, hey? Mm. You always put coin. That he has change? Yeah. Is it a special coin or a normal coin? Normal coin. Mm. I can go? Mm. What are you? Oscar. I'll go ask him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so it only takes coins. I've only got a 10 rupee here. Let's see if this person's got a coin. Hi. Thank you so much, eh? Thank you. Okay. Well, we've got a 5 rupee. This is what a five rupee coin looks like. Pretty cool. Oh, and then I can use that one. Ah, oh, Danyavad. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try and use a water ATM. First time to use a water ATM. I don't think I've ever worn this side. That's our drinking, hey? Okay. Okay, so you put the water there. It says put in the coin. Select okay. volume. Uh, let's see one up, eh? Um, I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Let's see one, I think. There we oh, go. Oh, there. Okay, just push that button. That was a bit confusing. It says here, yeah, tap one, tap two. So, I don't know. Tap one. Oh, gosh, it's filling. Do I press it again to stop? I don't know. Oh, shit. How do I stop? Like, take out the bottle, take out the bottle. There. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told you we didn't need 500 moles. <laughs> no, that gave us like two liters because we put in five rupee. Oh, you silly. And the bottle's two liters and we still had water in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, first time for using a water ATM and it's ice cold. Yeah, I'll taste it. Well, let's taste what this water tastes like. It's ice, ice cold. <laughs> Ah, it's pretty good. Tastes like normal water. <laughs> nice and fresh. Our water was getting warm. So yeah. having ice cold water in a dispenser is amazing. Well, that's the first for using a water dispenser <laughs> ATM. Who ever thought you'd find a water ATM on an island here in the Andamans? It's crazy. All right. Now we're going to go to our next destination mm. or next beach. Which if we is... can, because... <laughs> oh, no. Don't say we've run out of fuel. Oh, there we go okay as I was saying <laughs> we're gonna go to the next beach which has got a 
natural bridge and this is probably one of the most popular attractions here on Neil Island so of course we have to go and check it out <laughs> Namaste Hi Hi I just want one liter this one or that one This one This, this one, one. Okay. Okay. Thank you Before we can go to the natural bridge we have to fill up Don't want to get stuck Alrighty -o. Back on the road with a little bit of petrol that will get by just for the time that we're here yeah the island is very small so like from one side to the other side i think it's only like 10 kilometers so i don't think you need more as a liter can take you 30 kilometers so we're fine we're good no i don't need a local guide thank, thank you thank you can i explain you there we go mm. well i guess this is where all the tourists are coming yeah because you guys are really souvenir stores and all the guards <laughs> but here's our path towards natural bridge it's actually quite nicely done so very very popular place to come to oh, that's a big tree that's again one of those trees we've seen in our previous videos like if you check this like these palm trees are so massive but there's a certain type of tree this thick one here look how high it goes Oh my gosh. It's called a Samoa tree. A Samoa tree. So those are all the ones that we've been seeing that are super tall. Yeah, ch check at the size. That is huge. <laughs> oh, okay. Samoa tree. A Samoa tree. Because it's low tide, I am assuming that we're not going to have any fishes. like fishes or any water coming across here. But I think we'll have to find the natural bridge. So I see there's people there and I'm guessing we're probably going to have to walk all over this thing just to get there. But there's some more of those trees. Are you ready to walk? I'm ready to walk. I'm actually glad that I can see the rocks. Because I mean if this was all in water, you'd have to walk on this and probably cut your feet. Uh, we only have pluckies on and no shoes. But it seems very easy to walk on. Hi, the natural bridge that way? Yeah. Yes. That way. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, we're almost there. Oh, these fishes, the minute I step closely or closer, they disappear. I'll try and see, check how many of these are. Check, check, check. They're like little guppies. Yeah. Where are you, fishies? Check there. <laughs> Camouflage. Oh, wow. Sad. There's so many there. They're all gone. There's more. There's Can't more. Catch one. Ooh. I almost stepped on their home. <laughs> There we have it. The natural bridge. The natural bridge. <laughs> to think that that has been created because of the amount of times that the waves have just been lapping against that rock that eventually it's all just crumbled and dissolved. And I'm sure in a couple of years or maybe thousands of years, that part will also like completely collapse. Lobster is it? It's a lobster. Yeah. Small one. Small lobster. There. Wow. There's so much sea life in here. It's like a small little lagoon that has actually been caught by the high tides. Where is the lobster? Oh, there, there. oh there's a crab. There's a crab. Where's the lobster? I don't know. Oh, there it is. There's a small one on this rock. Right over there. We're getting all sorts of sea life. We've got a different fish there. We've got these little guppy fishes with the lobster. He's just gone underneath the coral. And then yeah, we have a different type of fish. There he's just heading into his little hole. I think we've come here for all sorts of things today. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is probably why the guide wanted to get us, is to actually teach us maybe a little bit about the sea life over here, which could have been interesting. But yeah, like Leanne said, that piece could probably collapse in a few years, a few thousand years from now, as it is getting thinner and the rocks have gotten rounder and rounder from the years where the water used to just come in and crash and break them and crash and break them. And this is what we have today. Is that a... What's that? It's not a crab. There's lots of them. Look here. Oh, uh, sure, jeez. What is that? I don't know. I look like a starfish type of bug. It could be. Check. Yeah, there's another one, another one. Oh, oh check how many are there. Yeah, there's more, bigger ones. I don't know my 
sea animals very well so I don't know what that is but if you know please comment down below oh my god is it moving it's weird it looks like an alien check me I think it's a type of starfish Well, these what is what could cause a pansy shell because they do have the pansy shape on top and look at this thing it's going to close when leanne actually walks by a little bit and my shadow covers it yeah baby walk wow that is so cool i thought coming over here the natural bridge was going to be the entertaining thing no. but the sea life yeah is actually way more entertaining than the natural bridge I'm getting all excited now. <laughs> you used to do this as kids. So I feel like we getting in touch with our inner kid here. I actually just feel like swimming in one of these things, yeah, but there's so much coral and stuff. You don't want to destroy the fish's homes. So we're just stepping where it has been stepped on before. But there's just so much beautiful stuff in here. There's millions of little lobsters. Yeah, check. There's a little lobster again. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. And over here, we have found two sea cucumbers. I think people eat sea cucumbers. They do. They do, right? Can I tell you what? I'm seeing more here than what I've seen on most dives. <laughs> so can you imagine how beautiful it would be to actually snorkel here? Or go for a dive. Or go for a dive. There have been stacks of jellyfish in the water. And when I mean stacks, I'm not meaning like one or two. It's like points in the water where the water is actually looking purple because of the amount of jellyfish that are here. So I've been a little bit nervous to go snorkeling, but I haven't seen any yet on Neil Island. But because we're here for such a short time, I don't think we'll be able to get to snorkel, but I'm sure that that activity would be amazing to do here. So we've made it to our sunset spot. This is where we're going to be for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> the heat is absolutely killing us. I think we got a little bit sunburned by looking at the fishes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's been a great day. It has. This is what it kind of looks like around us. They've left a few benches there. We've managed to score a bench. And we're here right on the corner of the island. Over there you can see Havelock. And down there is um port blair that is it port blair but the sand here is just extremely extremely soft and i guess this is what we can do here on the island of neil very relaxing island so i've just been thinking the reason why the ferry probably changed this morning is because of how low the tide actually gets here so i don't think they would have brought us yeah they wouldn't <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, it's too low tide for the fairies to come now. Yeah, but we're just gonna watch the sunset and enjoy our last day here in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Unfortunately, our time here has come to an end, but I'm really glad that we followed your guys' advice and have come to this island. Yeah, it's been quite relaxing. I didn't think it was gonna be that relaxing, but it felt like we just managed to just get away and just enjoy what the beautiful Andaman and Nicobar has to offer because it's not super, super busy and commercialized, especially here on the Neil Islands. And it's been nice, it's been great. I'm being, I have been very impressed with the islands and how beautiful it is. Yeah. But yeah, that is us here in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and we will see you in our next country. We're not gonna actually film the flight going there because I don't know, we find flats a little bit boring, but if you enjoy that kind of content, let us know and then perhaps we'll start doing it. Yeah. But until then, we'll see you in the next video and in the next country.